Here in part two, we'll explain how to take that geometric model and transform the expression algebraically. And here we'll lay out the steps and do a couple of examples. So first, we'll do the example that we did in the first video, x squared plus 4x plus 20. The first thing we did was we separated out the x squared and 4x plus ter uh, terms. Um, so we'll say that we group those together. We then prepare to complete the square by leaving this empty space in the x squared plus 4x, just like we had the lower right-hand corner of that square, and we leave a space on the right to represent the pieces that we're going to take from the block of unit squares on the right. We feel, we, we figure that we're going to need four units in order to complete the square. We know that because half of this 4x is what we did. Remember, we split the x's in half. So we have half of these squared. So half of 4 is 2. 2 squared is 4. So we add 4 here, and then we take them away from the units that we had. We now factor what's inside the parentheses, and that's always going to be a perfect square because we made it that way. So this is now x squared, x plus 2 squared, plus 20 minus 4. And then we simplify what's outside, and we have our final form, x plus 2 squared plus 16. Let's take a look at another example. We'll go through exactly the same process. I'll just illustrate all of the steps. First, we're going to group the x squared and x terms using parentheses. Next, we're going to prepare to complete the square by leaving that empty space within the parentheses and then an empty space outside to indicate that we've taken away a number of units. We're going to complete the square by taking half of 10 and squaring it. So that's 5 squared is 25. We're going to need 25 units here. So we're going to add 25 inside and take out 25 outside. And it's okay that we take away more than we have because algebraically negatives are okay. We factor what's inside the parentheses and that's a perfect square x plus 5 squared. And then we simplify what's outside to x plus 5 squared minus 10 and that's our goal. Here's one more example. In this example, the coefficient of x is negative, so we're going to see what happens in this case. Again, it doesn't have a good geometric model, but algebraically we can still do this. We'll go through the same process. We'll group the x squared and x terms. We'll com prepare to complete the square by adding, and we do actually add, a, uh, a little block, an empty block here, and we're going to subtract, subtract out the units outside. We're now going to complete the square by taking half of negative 8, that's negative 4, squaring that to get 16, and we're going to add 16 inside the parentheses, subtract it outside. Next, we'll factor what's inside the parentheses, and this factors to x minus 4 squared, and then simplify outside the parentheses to get x minus 4 squared minus 26. Now I'd like you to do this example on your own following these steps. Stop the video while you do that. Do the work in your journal or on a piece of paper. And then when you're done, restart the video to check your work. Okay, here's what it looks like. You group the first two terms. Prepare to complete the square by leaving those empty spaces. You complete the square by taking half of 12, squaring it to get 36. So half of 12 is 6, squared is 36. Add it inside the parentheses, subtract outside. Factor the parentheses to x plus 6 squared. Simplify the right-hand uh, term to x plus 6 squared plus 64. I'd like you to do one more. This one we're going to do where the coefficient of x is not even. In other words, it doesn't divide evenly by 2. But we can still complete the square. 
we're going to group the terms as we did before. We're going to prepare to complete the square by leaving those empty spaces. But now we take half of 5, that's 2 and a half. That's 5 halves. And we square that and we get 25 fourths. But that's okay. We're going to add 25 fourths inside, subtract 25 fourths outside. Next, we'll factor what's inside the parentheses. And what is inside the parentheses will factor to x plus 5 halves squared plus 5 minus 25 fourths. Then we simplify what's outside the parentheses to x plus 5 halves squared minus 5 fourths. I'd now like you to try this example. Please do it on paper or in your journal. Stop the video while you do that. Follow these steps and then restart the video so that you can check them. Okay, so first we group the first two terms, put in the empty spaces. We're going to complete the square by taking half of 9, that's 9 halves, and squaring it to get 81 fourths. So that's x squared plus 9x plus 81 fourths plus 10 minus 81 fourths. Factor what's inside the parentheses to x plus 9 halves squared plus 10 minus 81 fourths. Simplify what's outside the parentheses and we get x plus 9 halves squared minus 41 fourths. And that's completing the square. Next, we're going to look at a geometric model for non-monic polynomials.